Hello there guys, today I'm going to clean my realistic receiver here. Um, I took the cover out, right here guys, okay, and I got to clean that inside and outside. And um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish what I started. Um, I already started this receiver. I was cleaning it already earlier and uh, I decided to stop to take a break and um, now I'm back again and I decided to take a video and first things first guys this is easy you know I mean um, both sides has screws probably two or four and then three in the back or two whatever um, all you have to do is uh, get one of these um, screwdrivers right here okay or this one so either or and brush okay i took all the screws out so you can see right here and put them on the side and in the back and both sides and uh i got this uh cover from the side so you take that out. It's made by wood because it's a vintage receiver. The modern receiver guys, they're like metal or plastic nowadays, you know, so because they are made in China or Malaysia, Korea, and those are crappy receivers. Like vintage is the best. This one here, it's made in Japan. And if you're gonna buy a receiver guys, I know maybe you guys likes to uh, to buy the new looks and modern looks but the better the better one is made in japan tokyo always made in japan receiver any stereos and even tvs and i always um, buy vintage receivers because i love japan the sound the quality this right here it's it's been made many years ago and it still works and it's still sounds amazing guys so um that's only my opinion you know made in japan is better than others and when it comes to cereal but anyway anyways um let's go back to what we were talking about here and i took all the screws out now it's open as you can see so you grab the brush or you can use uh, air um what do you call that the air um the one in the can you know the one that you use for the computer yeah so you can use that because it has a lot of air pressure there and that was the other easy way to clean your receiver take it to um, out take your receiver outdoors or in the garage and use that um, air pressure can and you can clean your receiver but I run out and I'm gonna use my uh, brush here so I started this um, receiver already I was cleaning it already as you can see here it was not much dirty um, but earlier it was you can see I can see those cables was black and um, covered with white case the dust and uh, now it's pretty much cleaned and uh, I'm just finalizing this uh, receiver here cleaning around make sure you get the edges because you don't want that I mean to be dirty and the best thing to do guys clean your receiver at least uh, once every three months or six months it depends yeah, it depends uh, how you use it or it depends how clean you are in your house so if you have a lot of dust then you're gonna have to clean it off more often and uh, pretty much this receiver guys is uh, pretty much done already um, just trying to show it to you guys and then get the edges okay it's because the dust is all over there yeah so very nice no more um, dust probably a little bit more but there's some area that uh, let me show you guys there's some area inside that it's hard to clean it's because they're underneath right there underneath there and I'm not gonna 
take that out, the screwdriver out, because it's going to be more work for me. And so what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So this is what I'm saying. If you have that air pressure can, um, you can point it underneath and then press that button. Yeah, and uh, it'll push all the dust down. Yeah, so I'm doing my best here. Um, even I'm just using brush, you know. So and now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do since I don't have the air pressure can. All right. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to use fan. Okay. This is a tornado fan, very strong fan. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to point this. Yeah. Point this fan in there. And I'm going to blast this guy. There you go, guys. Look at that. Okay. So it'll push out the dust, even though it's not 100%. But at least. There you go. Plus, my receiver, guys, it's not, it's not that dirty, you know. It's a bit dirty, but... It's not really dirty, so there you go, guys. So just like that, and then uh, pretty much it's done. And I'm just gonna, you know, clean the cover. Even the cover of this is not that dirty, like compared to my other receivers. That's been sitting for a while. So just brush it. Yeah, brush the screen. Like this, guys. Brush, yeah, brush the screen like that. Okay. Just clean it out. And you might think that uh, the dust went back in there. So I'm just going to redo this again with this. Like that. Don't use some uh, brush, even though. There you go. Simple as that, guys. And the best thing to use is your air pressure can. So you can get that in the store. Um, you go to the um, electronic department, the one that you use for the computer. And you can get one of those and use um, that to clean your receiver. So... I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna, well, it's on. I'm gonna try to uh, put in an FM. Let's see. Okay. There you go, guys. So, it's perfectly working. some other station here so now it's clean again and we're gonna put back the we're gonna put back the cover Stone Temple Pilots, one of my favorite bands. Scott Wyland. There you go. So guys, now that it's uh, pretty much clean, I would say. I'm gonna try to finalize. Before I close this. All 
All right, guys. So now that it's finished, get it covered. There you go, guys. And cover this back. Let's see. Oh, by the way, okay. So just uh, kind of like tilt it like that. Make sure it snap in. And push it back. Push it down like that. There you go, guys. And then what I'm gonna do here, guys. I'm gonna put the cover here, like this. It's pretty easy, guys. Like that. And then you just put the screws back, piece by piece. Okay, let's see. Right, right here. And then grab the screwdriver. Like this. Grab another one. that very easy guys very simple to clean your receivers see Put the screws back there you go and then tighten them do the other side and do the back pretty much it's done and it's clean so enjoying your uh, radio tuner and your music so. just gotta find the right way make sure there you go like that all right and do the other side that pretty easy guys see make sure you don't tighten it too much because you don't want to break that uh the wood yeah see so you, you do this uh this side here like that and do the other side and the back. Yeah. Pretty simple, guys. There you go. Done. So, I'm gonna do the other side and the back, and that's it. So guys, easy to clean your, very easy to clean your receiver. So another video, I um, wish I can help other people out there. I'm um, just sharing how to clean receivers and two thumbs up. Thanks a lot guys, so peace out.